Hey. hey there lovelies today we're giving you a cooking video this is a first time recipe for the both of us we enjoyed making these and we hope you enjoy watching the video and you can even try them out at home we made potato, potato bubbles. bubbles all right let's get into it so first and foremost as we all know we peeled and washed our potatoes and then we soaked them in water for a little bit we then went on to cut them into cubes because we prefer using them that way as compared to using them whole We then added water and salt to our pot so that we're able to boil our potatoes. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. welcome! Please do make sure to subscribe and as well as turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any video from us. After boiling our potatoes and they were finally cooked, we mashed them. We mashed them plain. We didn't add any milk or margarine like what others may do. You can also season your potatoes at this point. Also remember to like this video and check out our previous videos if you haven't. Now we added flour and cornstarch, which some of you may know as corn flour, to our potatoes. Also, we seasoned our flour before adding it to the potatoes. And here we want to make a dough so that we're able to cut the potatoes into smaller pieces so that we can get the idea of bubbles that we want. And now we're kneading the dough. Remember to flour your surfaces and your hands because the dough got a bit sticky. Like we said at the beginning, this is a first time recipe for the both of us. They weren't perfect but then they came out really well for a first time recipe. We split the dough into two because we find it easier to make use of that way. We then rolled out the dough once again and then cut them into smaller pieces for us to come up with the idea of bubbles. We then used a fork to press down the dough just to get that cute little design you know. After kneading our dough and cutting it into smaller pieces, we deep fat fried our dough so that we can have that crunchy golden look on the outside. Since we put flour, that's going to be the coat of the bubbles. As you can see, they are frying and be careful when you're working with hot oil. Be extra careful. And those are our bubbles once they are done. They look golden and crispy. We then went on to add the second batch that we had cut out. And there you go. Those are our bubbles. Enjoy!